go back to Jim for a little wrap up. All right, so the chances of this going viral are probably pretty thin. But if I ever end up on a talk show, which I doubt if anybody will ever have me say these well, things. Well, you're on my talk show. On a talk show. All right. um, I, I'll repeat it because I don't, I don't have anything uh, for them to take. And I have very little. And what are they going to do to me? So here's the first thing I'm going to say is it's been said to me many times, many times by police officers that it's their job to go home safe every night to their family. That is the furthest thing from the truth. I totally believe that if you're a cop, a supposed, if you're a police officer, if you're a cop, your job first and foremost is not to go home safely to your family. It's to put your ass and your life on the line to protect the, the citizen, oh, the geez. civilian, oh, okay? It's, it's your third or fourth priority to go home to your family. You're supposed to put your body between a bullet and a citizen and save their ass. You're supposed to run into a burning building. You're supposed to go into the dark alley and not send in your fucking dog that you love so much that you tell everybody how much you love your German Shepherd and then you send your dog in the alley and then to get, to get shot. When you should be in the alley getting <laughs> shot and the dog should be at home with your wife. Oh, damn. Okay, so a police officer and a, and a dog, uh, a, a canine officer, it's bullshit. They shouldn't, they shouldn't be partners. Because would you send your best friend into a dark alley to take a bullet for you? No, but you're going to convince us, the civilians, that, you're, that, you're, that you love your dog so much that you're going to send your dog into a dark room to clear a room for you and take a bullet, and then you're going to cry when the dog's dead? What do you expect? Okay? So second of all, after the dog thing, which I didn't even think I'd get into, all right, um... Every cop, if you tell me that there's a good cop, and I don't know what the answer to these questions are, I'm just saying, if you tell me that, that there are good cops out there, I'm going to say there isn't, okay? Every good cop is a bad cop waiting to happen. And I know this because I'm no different. If you put enough money in front of a cop, enough drugs in front of a cop, they can be good for five years, but one day they're going to be in debt. One day they're going to be tired of their family. One day they're going to take that bribe. They're going to take that money. They're going to take that Coke. They're going to take that marijuana, and they're going to resell it. And I know because I would do it. So we, I, don't care, I don't care how good of a cop you think or how good of a cop the neighbor is down the street that you people know. You don't know what that police officer is doing on the side. I mean, all you got to do is have a kid that's going to college. You need to pay for college. You pull somebody over with $50,000 in his trunk. You're not going to tell me this cop's going to take thirty, twenty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 to pay for his kids. It's only a matter of time before a cop takes a bribe. Mm -hmm. So... Not only that, but how many how many beautiful women are out there that all you got to do is say, hey, I'll have coffee with you. Meet me at Starbucks and you're out of the ticket. And they're married at home. They're married at home with two kids. I mean, every cop is a is a is a bad cop waiting to happen. It just takes time. It, it's the nature of the beast. I think it's human nature. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. I'm not saying I'm right, but I think it's human nature to take the money take the bribe, take the drugs, and to be corrupt over time. I think it's just the nature of the beast. Mm. So, uh, you know, there are, there are harsher things, I guess I could say. Um, there are harsher things, believe me, I could say. I don't know if, uh, if I should say it on film. No, I get you. But, um, 
you know, I, I it, it, it's probably a tough job. Everybody lies to you every day. Um, every, you think that you, you think that everybody's a criminal because you take in, I don't know, eight, 10, 15, 20 calls a day. Everybody's going to lie to you. Yeah. I get it. Then you're going to take that home to your wife and kids and you're going to treat your kids like like perpetrators. So I, I guess it's a tough life. Uh, you know, I, I guess it is. But you know what? I don't know what the answer is. But I don't, I don't think that you can... It's only a matter of time be, be, before this good cop that you think down... Or this cop that down the street you think is good becomes a bad cop. It's the stress of the job. It's the temptation of the job. And, and inevitably, it's how, it's how they treat people. Now, do I have the answer for it? Oh, I don't. Man. I don't have an answer. Man. I don't have the an answer for just... it. So I guess they call that just bitching. Nah, well, you know, you don't have, I mean, the cheap. Uh, well, like I said, you, the solution is like, to, the, there's, there's no solution. It's like, what's the solution to life? You eventually die, right? You manage these sort of things. But we're just, right now, we're not even looking for that. You, you, we're just uh, examining film, something you could say about the job. So, uh, I, I there is one good thing I know that the police have done in Baltimore. There's one hardworking, dedicated cop whose car. I have walked by for the past four or five years whenever I walk by the house where they lock up the Russian hookers, okay, <laughs> that this guy guards. So those are like the four best looking chicks in Baltimore. Baltimore is a place with a lot of ugly chicks. Oof. So that cop is, I mean, he's doing a public service there because he's- uh, you know, you know, hey, you know- One of these bitches asked me to help her escape and I just like, I just kept on walking. Oh, I say oh, I say this I about did. that. What kind of like, what, oh, I thought he was a John hero. Wayne Gacy <laughs> entertained kids, and that was nice. And I've seen cops turn around and do nice things for people. Then they go home and they beat their wife. Mm. Okay, so are are people are serial killers capable of doing something nice? Yes, and then going home and cutting up people. Absolutely. Are cops capable of saving somebody from a burning car, helping an old lady across the street? Yeah. And then they cheat on their wife. Nah. Then they then they beat their kids. Or they beat their wife and, and and then they take the bride. So everybody's capable of 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 a nice act. Even serial killers. Okay? And then they go home and they do what they do naturally. And and I don't think that videos of cops doing nice thing makes these cops good people. They go home and they abuse their, their family mm -hmm. or, or, or they take a bribe or they abuse people that aren't lying to them on the street. Uh, you know, I don't know what the answer is, you know, but it, no, I'm, I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of cops that say that they, all they're going to do is go home and uh, their first job is to go home and be with their family. Yeah, I guess. No, no, no. You put your ass on your line for for. I, I for do society. know that amongst, you know, as usual with most groups, as we look what for... If, what if the firemen turn around and say, I'm not running in that building because my first job is to go home. I ain't going family. in there. Shit. Okay? Then, you know, then you're not being a fireman. These cops need to... Jump in front of the bullet. Oh man! Okay, they need that when, whoa, when whoa, shots whoa. are being fired in a uh, school, when shots are being fired in a building, oh, they need to go into the building just like a fireman would go into a burning. You know, they shouldn't wait outside for an hour and and, and try to be, get ready. You know, while they got the kids in there, you know, doing what happened a couple Hell months no. ago. You know that that's, yeah. that's sarcasm. But yeah, oh yeah. You know, what if again? What if firemen st stood outside and they waited for the building to burn down? That they yeah. do sometimes do their job. I had four cops chase me because they were protecting these two larger, younger, darker, oh. richer, better-looking guys that wanted what you got from me, and they found out that what I got isn't what they want. Oh, so then wow. they had this white lady call these four pigs on me, they chased me. 
and came hunting for me in the supermarket where I work while I was hiding in the freezer for an hour <laughs> in 40 degrees and this yeah. fat black girl that had a crush on me was lying to the cops well, and I didn't work there. <laughs> yeah, well, so they we, sometimes do do we the gotta, job. This, we got to wrap this up. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, this is the 